Hello everyone, today we will be streaming uh, episode 2 of We Are OFK. Mm. <laughs> it is just that time of the season and TGS is happening right now. In about an hour and a half, we're gonna see some cool games. I'm really excited. Rumor is that there's gonna be a Resident Evil uh, 4 demo. I do want to stream that. <laughs> I just figured I'll stream episode 2 first and then I'll stream that if that gets announced. <laughs> Uh, all right. Episode two. Oh, Jingle Writer. What? Jingle Writer. I don't know what you're saying right now. A Jingle Writer, Jingle Writer. You're just putting words next to each other? You have to give them context. Writer of Jingles. Is this another Christmas bit? No, 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 no. A job for me to apply to, to write jingles. Like... Everybody here loves Lucas Treats, yeah! All the way to Sticky Lemon Street. So hey there, friend, don't be a rude. Common saver Lucas Tasty Ice Cream Cubes. How long <laughs> were you working on that? Like, 15 minutes? For the application? Oh, it's a spec jingle. I just need to find an ad company that hires freelance songwriters, I guess. If you saw Jingle Writer on a dating profile, would you swipe right? <laughs> Welcome to Boba Apocalypse, where our flavors will end your wor- Oh, shit! Subsy. <laughs> Sorry, I went hard last night. I might actually be dead. How's Lukey doing on the job hunt? He is choosing... poorly. I'm right here. His procrastinations are prolific, by my count. Two Muji notebooks of doodles, a master plan for a Twitter bot, and one jingle. Queenie, I've been applying. Frick! I was fired once. I got superhuman at making paper airplanes. Back when Luca first moved in with me, I asked him to help paint the front hall, so instead he got really into glass blowing. No shit! He flew in an old master from Italy, Fibonacci, I believe it was. They would stay up for days at a time working on the glass forge. I hardly saw him for a month. Okay, that's entirely untrue. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Well, I'm hungover. Want to hear the special before I take five? Hit me. There's dragon fruit jelly and toppings this week. We're working on a dragon fruit flan, but it's dubious. Hmm. I'm out, friendos. Good luck, Lukey. I really am trying, you know. I know, but don't you have an offer already? Yeah, I do. I... If I'm not gonna write personal work, why bother taking another creative job that pays shit? News from Thirst World? Hmm, oh yeah. I think there's a cute music supervisor I need to respond to. Hey. <laughs> Do you want to see my pet project? Might be relevant to you, I don't know. Uh, pet? Yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> ah. Man, but I always go by my heart. So I get you, man. Get you. Uh, oh, yeah, the last track is. Yo, yo. Smoke, what's up? Hey, Aluka. Oh, hey, Queenie. Itsu told me you're working on music now, hmm? Yeah. Well, I'm just sharing some of my old songs with a producer, trying to find the right vibe. I'm not writing anything new yet. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I hope so. I really need a songwriting outlet. I heard you're mega talented. <laughs> Thanks. I try. I'm actually thinking of teaching voice lessons to pay the bills. Great boba. You sing too? I trained for like 10 years actually. <laughs> that's so impressive. And fucking hot. <laughs> I think I'd be a good teacher, but why would anyone hire me? Like, I'm just a medium good singer, and a songwriter's only as talented as their output, you know? But you're outputting now, right? Uh, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'm yeah. totally putting out too. Ah! Uh, the, 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 damn. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. You know how I get about <laughs> flan. Ah, uh, dude, that well, okay, Yo, Smoke, so this is gonna be like a 15 minute episode. So, this is like the opening. My previous episode is on YouTube. Episode 1, this is episode 2. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> the chick party guesses. Yeah, that's. You know what? I'm just gonna. I wanna see the reaction. Oh. Um, <laughs> he 
<laughs> oh man. All right. Uh. <laughs> You know what's messed up? Ugh, that it's impossible to find a soulmate, like, even with the world on our phones. We love pets so much, even though it's guaranteed that they'll die before we do. I guess you could get a turtle, or some other dino that could outlive you. By and large, people choose pets based on love not longevity but who would choose to lose a best friend like that like people say black cats are bad luck but mm -hmm. isn't every cat just an inevitable early end sounds like a lot of my relationships is that a horror movie or something you still coming to the show oh yeah of course wouldn't miss it wait remind me when saturday <laughs> eight you'll like it I stole a lot from the Tamagotchi you showed me. Eats coming, and, and Jay. I think I'll be able to make it. Can I text you? Um, sure. I was thinking we pay May rent a week early. I want it off my mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. You okay for June too? Yes. Well, no, but there's time. Okay. Carter, I'll find a job and it'll be okay. Don't worry your gorgeous fucking head. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Dad, things are calming down a little. I, I'm sleeping, I promise. Good. Are you drinking alcohol at work? What? No. What are those bottles there? No, Dad, that's just... That's from the last session. <sighs> These musicians. How did things go with Handsome Man? The work lunch? Yes, will you see him again? Mom, I'm not dating. He would be lucky to. Oh, you are not help, Jessica. Miss Hoyne told me there's a new dating app for professional artist people. You should use it. Mom, please, I'll... I'm keeping an eye out, okay? I'm very busy succeeding at work. We're very proud of you, Jessica. They should give you another raise. Finally get us Mercedes. <laughs> One day, Dad. Damn. Okay. Okay. okay, I love you both. I gotta go back to work. Work hard. The app is called Rosa. Rosa, 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 Rosa. Man, I miss Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay, sad that it's the last. Well, it ended, but it's. Hopefully, they'll make specials. That would be nice. <sighs> well, I want to sound more concerned then. I don't know.
October box. Ah. Ugh, annual crisis is the most watched esports event on the planet, and I can't get one meeting with the marketing director to review our Twitter schedule. Ugh, Peter Jung dodging your emails. His assistant is. I think he's off schmoozing on a press tour. At least you got to bring up Big Corky. Oh, God, I love a good color coding. I used to sort my Tabe mom by color. In the game? I didn't even know you could do that. All I ever caught was ramen sore and vanilla puff. Vanilla Puff wasn't until Tabemon Silver. Though, I guess you're not really into animal games. Hey, I would argue that Tabemon are more food than animal. I don't know. Pikanood is like 90% cat, 10% noodle. Hey, Luca! Welcome back! See you in the stand-up. I'm not back, I'm just visiting. Ugh, maybe this visit was a bad idea. Hey, is Carter doing okay? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Why? And they usually text me back, like, immediately, and their mom was asking if I'd heard from them. Oh my god, you text with Alba Flores? Mm, she gets me. I think maybe Carter wants a pet? So maybe they're wandering shelters looking for the one. And if we're all looking for the one. I don't think Carter's at home enough to want a pet, dude. I'm worried. Seriously, I'm sure they're just in puppy land. No, 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 no. Maybe? Itsu, what do you think of her? Ooh, she looks intensely cool. I, I don't think I could handle dating apps. I'd rather meet someone IRL. The internet is IRL, Itsu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. Itsu, I think I know this guy? A date guy? Oh no, from here? No, like, from the internet. Hang on. Oh, holy shit, Miguel Sweet. He runs- Starship Snack Club! Luca, what the fuck? I've never seen it. He's the creator of the show, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think he animates anymore, but he's writing the movie adaptation, and he voices Jet. I have a Jet keychain at home. Fuck, fuck, Luca, he's so brilliant. A famous man thinks I'm cute. Miguel has like 150,000 followers. That's him at the Animation Awards? Oh my god, I think this is him at Gabriella Loma's house. Uh, why would he be at Gabriella's? How do you answer any question about Gabriella? She's god rich. Oh shit, is that a shrimp sculpture of her dog? I want Gabriella to be my fairy godmother. She just has this look on her face all the time, like she's got me. Miguel has incredible thighs, fuck. And different glasses in every pic. Mm, these baby blue ones will look so nice on me. Miguel and I could share sometimes? Is that him? Yes. Ooh, look at them, bright and shiny. Luciana, all right. <laughs> Gabriella always reminded me of President Chef in the Tabemon TV show. Uh, Dwayne. Yeah. He was so cuddly with the Tabemon. That's why Dwayne always creeped me out. I was like, I don't know, man. That guy fucks Tabemon. I mean, other than the observatory, even that with light pollution, I don't know. Hmm. Just, 
I guess. I'm good with that. <laughs> ah, complimenting my eyelashes, damn. It's funny. Oh, he's incredible. He's perfect. He's the hottest dad. Oh, hey, did Jay tell you Someone I'm going to record with her this week? Someone complimented my eyelashes recently, Oh, nice. Too. That's great. And Luca. She was asking about you. Cool. Luca. Yeah, I'm sending her a new song this week. Okay, time to seal the deal. This is where all my training comes in and the beginning of my new life with Miguel in our <laughs> animation studio. say before that was he busy or I mean coffee sounds good I guess one of these games like text <laughs> my man out here with the poems well and... I'm excited to hear what you and Jay are working on Okay, that webcomic we commissioned for Annual Crisis isn't going to publish itself, so I gotta get back to be quirky. What will the fashion mech stands do without it? Luca, if you raid the kitchen, please do not take the last of the blueberry waters. You always do that. <laughs> hey, I wrote Mizu Vienna's backstory. I deserve the finest flavor. <laughs> but so do you, so I'll settle for grapefruit. Choose you. Ah! Welcome back, Luca. Damn. Fuck me, that is so good. <laughs> My ears are crying. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Thanks. Love to keep the drama confined to the music. All right, I think it'll be pretty dope into Carter's visuals. I'm so happy you two are friends. Carter's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know them that well, but they do have stories. Okay, uh, give me one more run through and we'll take a proper break, yeah? Mm. Oh, and hey, embellish if you feel it. You're killing it, Itsu. Okay, I love this. Fuck. Ooh, all right. That transition was such a gorgeous was little creature. And now, the caribou snail is extinct forever. <laughs> Miguel, I love how much you care about this. Anything worth talking about is worth caring about, Luca. You know, maybe the death of that snail is a good thing. Maybe the final snail was... <laughs> Destroying all the grass. Have you looked around LA? So much of our ground is dry and dead. <laughs> That's the droughts and water rationing, Luca. Large grass lawns in LA are wasteful. 
Besides, desert landscaping is much more beautiful and sustainable in our dry climate. But just imagine our little snail sliming the grass with his acid goo in defiance of rich LA homeowners. <laughs> well, that's untrue, but cute. <laughs> Sometimes the cutest things are the most dangerous. Oh. Do I need to be careful with you? Ooh. Please don't be. Miguel Sweet, though? I couldn't invent a more charming name. Aw, oh, says the glamorous Luca Le Fay. You're everything out of a fairy tale. Well, be kind to me, and perhaps I'll give you my real name. My, my. The plot thickens. So tell me, Miguel Sweet, what's it like to be the hottest writer slash voice actor slash animation idol in town? <laughs> You're a gem. Talk to me about you. You're a musician. I am. Uh, I'm a songwriter for games, TV, uh, animation. That's wonderful. Are you working for a studio right now? Uh, not exactly. I just left Leviathan Games last week. I'm in between gigs at the moment. Katase is hiring you now, Luki. Oh, well, I wouldn't make much of a bartender, I think. Miguel, who does all the music? Ah, oh, come on, you'd be great. I'm sure I just get fired for singing into the microphone backstage. I mean, they don't just leave them plugged in. Fired for sure. Uh, besides, music is really my passion. Do you have any idea the shit I haven't been fired for? You could spend half your shifts writing your lyrics and they'd still keep you. Do you want another? I was going to suggest we get the next round at my place. Wait, what's happening? There's literally no way to know if you've actually teleported or if you've been insta-murdered and replaced by an exact duplicate. And the duplicate would never know either. <laughs> what, so everyone who teleports turns into a soulless shell? Maybe. <laughs> You've thought so much about this. I've watched a lot of Space Captain Egg. Speaking of horrors, your music has kind of a spooky vibe, right? Are you a horror person? Oh, absolutely. Anything psychological kind of reminds me of old operas. I don't really know what I mean by that. <laughs> Opera is terrifying. Trapped in a dark room with a bunch of rich people? Yeah, it's so good, though. Mm. No, 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 okay, no, 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 okay, picture this. A sorceress named Alcina who rules her own island. And whenever a knight shows up on the shore, she seduces them, fucks them wild for a bit, then loses interest because they're knights and knights are boring as hell. So she turns them into fucking plants. <laughs> That's opera. Okay, okay, fine, I'm on board. Sex plants? Can I be Alcina? If you listen to opera, you can. It's my favorite one. I actually have a tattoo of it. That's beautiful. Yeah, I just like telling stories with music. I mean, all music tells a story, but opera cuts deep. Like feelings come and go so fast in three minute songs, but that's not how life works, you know? Opera lets you sit in a feeling. It, it lets the feeling breathe. Yeah, feelings. But th that's why I love getting wrapped up in the long stories of RPGs. I got into playing piano because I wanted to play the music from my favorite games. Do you know the Tales of Mishoria series? I don't really play games. There's an opera in six. No shit, really, in the game. Well, kinda. It's chiptune-y, but there's this whole opera scene and I'll show you if you come over sometime. They say she's a sorceress. Uh, strong as the stegosaurus is. You know, she got that big time top vibe music producer biz. <laughs> Jay! She got a 50 record streak down that lapel. She make the other vocals sound like squeak. 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 Oh my god, it's happening. I 
want to kiss you very, very hard right now. Do you want that? Squeak. Uh, I don't know if that's... Yes, it means yes. They kissed. Oh, my God. Man, I shipped them so hard last episode. Oh, my God. Want me to run the scene again? I think I can make the movement more believable. No! No, 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 no! Carter, you are perfection. You look like an android, for real. Thanks. Okay. And... Camera speed... Anna and Chip, scene 17. Everybody in position? Chip ready. Um... Hey. Hey, Sleepy. Looks like you had a time in here. Yeah. Sorry. Just a lot of work to get done. Well, I had a time last night. You should see Miguel's house. Dear Lord. <laughs> he has this floor-to-ceiling snow mural that you would love. Maybe you two will get married, and I'll visit. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up, Carter. <laughs> oh, hey, that's cute. What is it? Nothing. I have to run. Show prep. I'm glad you had fun with your daddy. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. He makes floral patterns look so professional. Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. I have my second date with Miguel, and I'm waiting to make sure that the timing works for him. She went down all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh. <laughs> darling hi Luca how are you I'm great thanks hey darling what's the average lifespan of a cat domesticated cats can live between 2 and 16 years on average depending on the breed that's not really an average is it darling how do I become a composer Hey, darling, how do I become a composer? I don't think I can do that for you, Luca, <laughs> but I like your shoes. Thank you. Hey, darling, play music by Omni Boy. Thank you. 
Whoa, what's that message? Dude. Queenie, this is Jay. We've met, I think. Hi. Yeah, didn't know you two cuties knew each other. What you up to today? Work, mostly. Not yet. You? Working the whole day. We got a fresh shipment of apples, and I'm trying to convince the kitchen to throw them in the fucking dumpster. Apples? The trash fruit. Ugh, for real. You coming to Carter's special show tomorrow night? Jay's doing the music. Oh shit, nobody told me. I'm probably closing, but if I come through, I'll hit you up, baby. Mm. <clears throat> we should maybe talk. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should. You're really cool. No, you. I just want to make sure we're okay. <laughs> I'm kind of up in your friend group, and I don't want to make you uncomfortable. No. No, I had a really great time. And my friends love you. I'm not really dating right now. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just got out of a thing, and I'm busy, so... I'm not saying we can't do that again if you're down, I'm just... Yeah, I'm weird to date. Yeah, yeah. So, like, casual? Yeah, just don't let me hurt you. I like you too much. Yeah, no, it's cool. No pressure. Mm, just the right amount of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. The show's Damn. gonna be so dope. Hey, thanks. You plus Carter, that's like two gods on one stage. Oh, I'd be pretty rough as a god. You already are. Me girl, me girl, it's time for us. Me girl, it's time for you to fucking text me back. Me girl, me girl. I don't like where this is going. Much. Uh, you back from the beach? Yep. It was just last weekend. Nice. How's mom? She's good. Up in Cape Cod. Hey, the uh, other night I found out that my client's brother works in video games too. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, in LA. Small world. Hey, I actually gotta run. Talk soon. No problem. Later. Later. Oh, hey. Hi. 
How's the track? I'm feeling it. You're my fucking hero on this piano. Do I get to wear a cool hero outfit? Oh, we can wear costumes if you want, Squeaky. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> oh, I'm at rehearsal. Show's in like two weeks, and we finally get to practice in the venue. Uh, are you supposed to be playing? No, no, it's fine. So Not for another I'm tough dummy 60 seconds. Right, man. <laughs> oh my Holy god, shit. get out of here. I just called to say I was thinking, what if we pre-game the show tonight? Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I really need to talk to Luca and find out what the fuck is up, so... I'd love to warm up for that with something better than club drinks and plastic cups. Okay, yay, great. Hmm. Do you know the Vice Room? It's not far from Katase. I've never been. It sounds amazing. What time? Seven. Get out of here. Okay, okay, bye. flirted but I kind of want to say that you know it's like she's good reassure more than flirt at that point so I'm not like this. <laughs> I like when they do that, the transitions. It's fucking cool and the cuts. Hi! Are you excited? Music. Oh, you came. Yeah, not too long ago. I'm just getting a drink. Do you need anything? I have a show. I, I can't talk right now. Is everything okay? I'll bring you some snacks later. Uh, okay. the bones out of his hands? <laughs> yeah, and the dude deserved it. Oh my fucking god, I have to show you Tales of Mishoria 4. It's my favorite JRPG from the last, last console generation. I truly don't know what you just said. All right, let's get another drink, huh? I think your galaxy pal isn't gonna make it in time to chat. Are you gonna turn him into a plant? Eventually. This one is on me. Oh, shut up. I'm the one making us drink top shelf. It's fine. Yes, it is fine. This expensive whiskey and plastic will be dedicated to Jay Zhang, talented sound nerd, opera aficionado, crossfitter? Power lifter. <laughs> to you and me and the music you invited me into. I needed it. Thank you. Come by. Cheers. You think you could talk to Luca? Yeah, I can try. He's been a little preoccupied. But he cares. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't what caring looks like. I thought he was into the first track, but maybe he's reconsidering whether he wants to... Oh, Carter, Carter, come here a second. We're gonna cheers to you. 
Thanks. I think we're almost ready. And if we're not, at least Aries season is over. Wait, it's Taurus season now? Jay, aren't you a Taurus? Yep, yeah, my day's coming. Monday. What? Fuck! Cheers to that, too! I've got to run and check sound from the balcony. Luke is drinking downstairs. Ah, he's here? Downstairs. Cool. The fuck? Me too. It's so important to listen to entire albums, right? Oh, excuse me for just a minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> See, this is why he's feeling, but this is why he should. Sh I mean, <laughs> it's really weird. I can relate a lot to Luca in a way, but like, <sighs> he knows what he's doing, but. Luca? Oh my god! Queenie, hi! Wow, um, your hair looks great. Hey, thanks. You're always sparkling. Love the makeup. How was, uh, how was Boba today? <laughs> no Boba, thank fucking god. But I'm studying for midterm, so I'm already a little tipsy from exhaustion. Oh, you're in school? Fashion design. Whoa. Mm. Incredible music, right? I feel like I'm listening to a god. Yeah, it's good. You can just feel the bass in your heart? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, um, what are you doing here? I own this place. What? I'm fucking with you, dude. Itsumi invited me, and a few of my girls were begging to tear up DTLA tonight. What are you doing here? Well, babe, come join us. We got a bottle of goose you're gonna need to help out with. Don't do it, Luca. Just 
Hey there. Room for one more? Uh, bar's wide open, buddy. No, I mean behind the bar. Is that job still open? I think so, yeah. Give it to me, please. Oh, you're not gonna be fired for fucking with the microphones backstage? I'm sorry. <laughs> you sounded pretty sure on that day. I'll get you the application. Thanks a billion, Bex. Hey, can I get a blank piece of paper, too? Sure thing, Luke. Please? <sighs> that was amazing. <sighs> yeah, I needed that. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure you don't want to stay over? No, thanks. Um, I don't stay over. Oh, okay. I gotta go into the office early tomorrow anyway. More Sunday crunch for annual crisis. Brutal. 
Well, hey, again soon, and let's record more. Yeah, early next week? Sure. Oh, is it cool if I leave my car here? Sure, yeah. I, I can drive it to you tomorrow. Oh, it's cool. I'll just take a ride in the morning and scoop it up. Good night, you. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Keep it simple. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Writing a love letter? <laughs> Basically. Love song. Oh my god, is that from your show? What is that? Am I safe? No promises. <laughs> hey, a debug. This is Luca. He lives with us. Whoa. Uh, hi, Cybercat. I liked your snow. It gave me a cute idea for a holiday song. <laughs> You're terrifying. Can it see me? They can. Seriously, that's incredible. What are you gonna call them? Ooh, what about... Bone Bone. I like Bowie. No. Bo uh, uh, uh. Bowie. Their name is Debug. Oh. <laughs> Cute. This little jiggly's really fucking cool, Carter. The whole show was. Thanks. I'm gonna keep them around the house. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Pets without shits are the perfect kind. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Debug. Please don't eat me in my sleep. For Jay, yeah. Hi, Jessica. We did not hear from you today. Is everything all right? I test you a link to Rosa app. Miss Huang daughter found boyfriend there very quickly. But if you're dating someone already, don't install it, okay? Okay, talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, please I'm give fine, me the Mom. chance to install I'm it or not. I'm not seeing anyone, and I'm very busy and happy at work. I'll call you tomorrow. Does her parents know, or like she said it? I don't mind the glitches, to be honest. I think Debug minds. <laughs> you know, I was thinking over what you were saying about pets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, so pets do die. But everything, but, like, ends. everything ends, right? Like, I don't want to get dark, but every relationship ends eventually. <laughs> Some sooner than others. <sighs> Sure, but then your options are either try something or do nothing. There's more to life than pets and friends. Maybe the work matters. It can last. Are his friendship? We can last. People make a lasting impact, I think. Mm hmm Well, you got me, for one, for as long as I last. And darling. Hey, darling. Domesticated cats can live between 2 and 16 years on average, depending on the breed. And you're not going anywhere, are you, Debug? <laughs> They're going to outlive us both. When no humans left in the world, Debug is the only survivor. <laughs> Quentin. Yeah, I mean, they are artists. They can say or they they have I guess the right to say oh work to make a change but what if you're not an artist what if you're just normal what if you're just a nobody and what then what do you really live for Going. The air is humming. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I've been kind of preoccupied. I know you've been working super hard, so I just 
I got you. I want you to know I'm here. And if you ever want to talk... It's all good, Luca. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, I got a job. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bartending <laughs> for Bex. Wednesday's my first day. Wow. That's really great. Bex says I need to buy my own apron if I want one. That can't be right. Why don't you ask Quinny where she gets hers? Oh, you're hilarious. Ooh. <laughs> you know, back in the 1950s, there was the biggest transport of live cats on record. Mm, tell me everything. World Film Forever had just greenlit this huge animal adventure, and they needed a ton of cats, like a literal ton. But at some point on the way to Hollywood, in traffic on the 110, the truck door comes unlatched, and the whole ton of cats run off into the woods of Pasadena. That's why there are so many strays in the movie. Right. Alright, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> Alright, going to TGS in about like 15 minutes. That's gonna be interesting to see. I also asked a question in the stream, right? I know what my answer is. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but I hope. Someone, if even anyone is watching or watched or watches the video after this, after the stream in a VOD or in YouTube or whatever. Uh, I hope you find the answer that is for you. I guess even if I were to say my answer to that question, I, I don't think you'd feel satisfied me I mean satisfied with me hearing say hear me saying it I'd rather you find it you find it out for yourselves so I can say it took me a long time to find out what was it all for I guess I guess I'm still trying to figure it out but there are certain things I know for sure and certain people and recently I've been really grateful and happy, I guess. <laughs> and I do, I do relate to Luca a lot in in some ways. <laughs> so, uh, man, I love this game. It's so good. I kind of <laughs> I'll uh, try to stream the next episode like sooner I guess uh alright <laughs> I'm gonna end stream hope you had fun watching it as much as I had fun watching it too <laughs> alright until next time signing off